Well, congratulations on having the award named Thank in you. your honor, but also the, the fact that you could present it to a, a guy that's, a, I know, a very good friend of yours. Well, he is a good friend, and, and um, uh, as he said, it was apropos that I gave it to him because I, I was the one that uh, made him a full-time scout for the Phillies way back when, and uh, we've, been, we've been buddies. Uh, I love his work ethic. I've always uh, enjoyed uh, Dick's honesty. Uh, he, he gives you a great evaluation of guys, and he's honest about it. And he's not a yes man. He, he will tell you whether he likes the guy or whether he doesn't. And a general manager or a scouting director can't ask for any, any more than that. Well, we go to the top of the fourth. It's 3-2 Phillies. Mike Morse will lead it off. 35 years uh, Dick has been part of the Phillies organization. So he's seen, he's seen his share of ball players over the years. Oh, he certainly has. And um, he, did, he did amateur work early on, but... Uh, that he eventually got into the uh, major league scouting and did a lot of spring training work and, and uh, um, really uh, gave us good info. 1 0 pitch coming to Mike Morse. Check swing, foul ball, it's 1 and 1. Now, you were a scout during your career. You've managed, you general manager, and you've done a lot of different things. How important are guys like a Dick Lawler to our organization? Well, I came up under Paul Owens. Paul Owens was my mentor and my friend, and, and uh, he's, he's the guy that really uh, got the Phillies started the, in the right direction scouting-wise. And uh, he, he uh, came to the Phillies in 1965. That was the year of the first draft. And uh, the Phillies' ownership, uh, the Carpenter family, particularly Ruley, were, uh, uh, were back in Paul 100%. They understood as I have always understood that scouting and development are still the backbone of an organization. Because you can bring guys in but you still need guys that come up through the system. Got to do it. All you got to do is look at our club. Yep. There's some guys out there. Um, of course Howard's sitting on the bench but the two middle guys are there. Ruiz uh, is is one of our guys and and you got a couple big pitchers, uh, Hamels and and Madsen and those kind of guys. They they uh, uh, they're homegrown guys, and our scouts are very proud to to see them progress and come to the big leagues. Well, it's three balls and two strikes to Mike Morris. Dallas Green's joining us up here in the booth, and the Phillies today honored Dick Lawler with the first Dallas Green Award. It'll be an award that'll be given out each and every year uh, to a scout within the Phillies organization. And it seemed appropriate that Dick, after 35 years, was the first recipient of the award. And there's ball four. Morse is aboard to, to start the fourth. Dallas, over the years, has scouting become even more important? I mean, in this day and age? Oh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think there's anything more important. Uh, you know, the money situation today is is really uh, driving the driving the machine and. If you don't have younger players coming up, uh, you can get old in a hurry. You can get, uh, as we have, uh, we, we, we pretty much maxed out our, our money. And uh, if we don't have younger people coming up, uh, uh, we're just, we're just going to, we're not going to be able to survive. Well, the other part of scouting, too, is going like we see these guys down there now, like Jerry DePoto from Arizona, you know, um, Tim McIlvain from the Brewers. Joe McIlvain's there with the stopwatch. I mean, all these guys are, are scouting for potential postseason matchups too. Oh, no question. We got our guys out. They're they're uh, uh, they they were assigned by uh, uh, our director of, of uh, major league scouting, uh, uh, Mike Ondo. He's got he's got the guys uh, all over the country watching the watching the guys that are have a chance at least to be. Uh, uh, to be in the playoffs. Now, it's how surprised are you at Worley the way he's been able to come up and pitch, his composure, uh, his whole demeanor on the mound. I mean, that says a lot about the development from the guys in the mi minor leagues. You surprised he's able to come up and throw this way? Well, truthfully, uh, I am, uh, uh, Sarge. I, I saw him early on when we first got him, and, and I was really disappointed. He was a college guy. And I expected a little bit more. Uh, you know, he doesn't have a blazing fastball. Uh, 
I really think he must be very, very deceptive, Sarge, to the, to the uh, hitters because they swing and miss a lot. Um, he's only uh, 88, 89 <laughs> most of the time. He, he can ju jump it up there to 90, 91 once in a while, but he's pretty consistent at 89. And uh, normally uh, you'd say, well, that that's uh, that's a pretty hittable pitch. Uh, but this kid has really, uh, really come on. His his. Uh, that's a perfect example right there. He he uh, uh, they don't see him well starts and and uh, you know as a hitter you got to see that baseball. Yeah well I've been surprised he's been able to keep the ball out of the middle of the plate and not only that he gets strikes on the inside good pitch with good movement as the ball moves away there and hitters I mean when you talk to the hitters around the league. They like to hit against him because he doesn't throw as hard but then what he does gives you an Comfortable 0 for 4. Yes, he does. He uh, he does use the plate, and that's that's one of the things we work on very uh, diligently at the minor league level. Uh, and he has picked it up very well. He um, we we try to get him to concentrate on the fastball away, and then learn how to pitch inside. Uh, you, uh, there's there's another example. He was he 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 almost had a strike there. And that's the way you got to pitch in. And, uh, you can you can get hurt in uh, if you're afraid and, and leave the ball out a little bit in the middle of the plate. But this kid this kid has really uh, sharpened his his way of pitching. There's a ground ball toward the hole diving stop Rollins from his knees. He gets the lead runner. That's a fantastic play for the second out. Well guys not even trying to turn two on that J will going in the hole. He knows that he's only going to get one. Utley knows that as well as he stretches out to get the force on the runner. All those are those little intangibles during the course of the game. That's why I think this guy is so valuable. He's able to still get that ball going there and uh, mind to throw that ball right on the money to chase Utley. Well, that'll bring Rick and kill to the plate. Dallas how tough are those intangibles to find you know we've learned that Worley at least from a distance seems to have a swagger to him you know Rollins has those intangibles Utley certainly does how hard are those to find for a scout well I, I, I always say and I've, I've said this to our scouting staff uh, I could send my wife out to a baseball game and he and she can <laughs> she can pick out the, the best player basically but we scout head and heart and, and I believe in that I don't I don't think it can survive in this game. Without head and heart, and uh, uh, it, it's those intangibles, obviously, that that make a Jimmy Rollins and make a, a Chase Utley, and and now this kid uh, Vance uh, Warley. So um, those things, uh, you, you know, Tom, it's it just a, it's an it's a feel that scouts get about a young player, and of course, a scout they're going to see him play, they're going to see. Him in the wintertime maybe play some basketball or go watch a football game or whatever they do an awful lot of homework on young people uh, that that people don't realize they they do uh, they they meet with a family they visit with with the kid and every chance they get if they're interested in it. well there's that deception one more time fifth strikeout for uh, Vance Worley Dallas it's great to see your name honored in uh, Good to be the way the Phillies uh, have done it with this and it's great to see Dick Lawler honored tonight too. Thanks for coming on tonight. You bet.